Hello, my name is Joanna Sumik. Um, I work for the Austrian broadcast company, it's named ORF, and I am in the department of information and motion graphics. So what you have seen before is a short selection of uh, our work. And um, I will show you now a few motions to my person, according to my person. So before I came to the ORF, I worked already as a graphic designer but for print media for 10 years. And before that, I started as a photographer. So you could say I, I was a, a bit of a career changer, the light version, because uh, nowadays all the skills, um, you need them all. But when I came to the TV, I had no idea about motion graphics at all. But what I could do was to tell stories in pictures already. Um, by the way, that's my husband here on the ground trying to, to make the picture here. And uh, somehow I had a clue about graphic design. So I had a bit like a, a magic hat with skills to deal with. And um, Every time I say I work for the TV, so people think I'm doing the, the design of, of the formats. And I say, no, I work for the news. And then this question appears, uh, what do they need you for that's news? So, first of all, um, we have a newsroom and we have videos there. So. Someone has to put the, the pictures, the key visuals, into the video. And so we do this here. If you see it, it's pictures and uh, you don't hear the guy speaking, but you already know what the topic is, what he is talking about. And uh, so for this huge pictures going through two videos, we use Adobe Stock because they have really nice stuff. Um, what else? We use uh, Adobe Stock also for signations. We have to produce things like that. So the. This was a, uh, this is a signation for a new format created this year uh, in, at the Channel One uh, called Magazine One. So the, you, you have seen a lot of footage from the Adobe stock here. But uh, that's not the, my daily business. My daily business looks like that. So a lot of statistics. Um, you see, well, we have this, of course, statistic that's pies and that's curves. Uh, but we try to be more illustrative, more colorful, um, just to, 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 get in, to, to get in touch somehow. Um, we had the, uh, the discussion yesterday with Jason and he, he asked me what, uh, what changed the, the last 10 years in my business. And um, when I came, uh, it was like, here's, here's the text, I, I need a pie. So you give me the pie and I will integrate it into my, uh, into my show. Nowadays, we, we do more things like this. You, you see the pie on, on, a, on a field and uh, uh, the woman here with the Notre Dame beside. So we try to integrate the graphics into the clip that we, we try to avoid to have these hard breaks. So that's, that's something that uh, the editors don't like. They, they always said, well, you know, if I have a graphic, um, it just cut it, my, it, it cuts my, uh, 
my thing, you know? And so we started for this new format, magazine, eins, uh, that you saw, we started, we, we said, okay, so from now on, we integrate the graphic into the clip. The one, one graphic uh, you don't see here on the wall uh, of the bars. I have a very special bar graphic for you. Most, I think that's the most known graphic in the world because everyone shows this thing when it's uh, the election day. And uh, this is a very good graphic because in seconds you see who is the winner of the day. And that's the sense of the graphic, so how it works. But um, this is the day X. The hot time is before for the editorial office, it's uh, hot air around. And uh, I work mainly, my team works mainly for the ORF1, for Channel 1, and uh, we have a bunch of uh, very creative and motivated young editors, and they, well, just think, what, how, how can I create things uh, to tell people information and not bore them? So um, they des designed this format. It's called my Valometer. I would uh, translate it with my electionator. And um, why I show you this, this, this is an example of uh, teamwork. And this is something what changed through the last few years also, that we are not only the deliverers, uh, we are not the delivery company, we work with them together. So here is uh, a show. Was you. denken die Österreicherinnen und Österreicher? Lisa Gardenstetter hat sie im ganzen Land Stellung beziehen. I show you now uh, clips out of the promotion for this format. You already see here um, they went to the street um, asking people, well, what do you think about this and that? And you already saw there was a graphic on the ground. So they, they took the graphic and went with the graphic to the audience on the street, you know? Then, of course, you have politicians. I mean, that's, that's, that's what it is about. That's the, the people that's uh, <laughs> taking part in a battle. Also, das Thema ist wirklich schon überstrapaziert. Oh, by the way, I mean, uh, we have now early elections in Austria because uh, some of our politicians went to Ibiza. Maybe you heard about that. The Ibiza gate. So that's why we have elections now. Mein um, here you can see um, the main brain behind this format and she's explaining what it should be, what, what's the idea of it. Um, and she said it, it should be like a um, decision-making aid for people in front of the TV. So what could happen the best is uh, you really don't know for whom you should vote and after that, maybe you know that. Here we already are in the, in the show. She is explaining now the, uh, the sense of the graphic because the graphic you've seen on the street, we have it also in the studio. So that's not an ordinary studio, that's a fabric hall they went to. Uh, because they, they needed the, the, the space for the graphic, because what das, she said, werden, this is a living graphic. And now she's Teil. explaining, well, normally you see so in the TV so the, the bars the going up and down and blah, blah. And we have here the living graphic, which means Und ich würde sagen, wir legen gleich los mit der ersten we have children there. She's explaining that. Kinder, los geht's. Here are the children. 
and they run around and they position um they have been of course told where they have to run to and uh, they show you the opinion of the politicians according to the uh, to the question you see above and this is uh, should inheritance stay tax free and this is uh, i still have don't have another word for that but but it's it's uh, well it's emotional and it's uh, touchy you know you have children running around and this is it's a little bit of a game and uh, uh, it's not so. Uh, it's not only terror, theory you hear about. And of course, as it is in, in decision-making aid, you need a little bit more information about inheritance. What it, uh, what it means? How many people do we have in Austria that are really rich? Only four percent, and they have like one million. And uh, what does this party say? And what? Does that party say so that's that's really the uh, the informational part of the show Erbschaftssteuer zu haben in 19 von 28 EU Ländern wird erben auf die eine oder andere Art besteuert Und wo stehen Sie liebe Zuseher By the way as we work in a team so uh, this information graphics they have been not only made by us uh, the cutters also work with us. And um, they thought, well, there are questions you always ask yourself, maybe, how much money do these people earn who play the politics? But you never know. And so we, we decided, they decided to, to, to make uh, informational piece according to the, to the topic of the show. So as this, the topic of this show was money, the question was how much do they earn and we explain it to you. And uh, as I said, many things changed, especially for this year. Uh, the first step that happened was I was sitting with the editor together discussing uh, how we should uh, create this. And then we went to the camera team and we talked with them how we could create a cool pictures, cool clips and stuff for the infographics. So it's not like uh, we need a little bit of text and we have the clip here. Now it's, this was the other way. We produced the clips to put the graphics on. Well, it's, it's quite a lot of information. Um, and uh, therefore, and, and it's, it's like, you know, um, if you explain things according to politics, it's so it, it, it's really boring. I mean, that's no fun. And then someone is speaking blah blah blah, and you you are like, well, check, let's go somewhere else. So uh, we, it needed to to to, to be like very. Um, more interesting, you know what I mean. So back to my daily life, because this, this was a really big, um, big show, a lot of work, and we had a bit of time. But as you saw her, um, this is an editor I, I very often work with, and uh, so. It looks like uh, here I have uh, the stuff, I mean, from the agency, this is the topic, what shall we do? And then, yeah, do you have an idea, what shall we do? Then we start uh, looking at the footage, looking, do we have something to, to place the graphic on? Or do we have to produce something for that? Um, the special request to, for this here was, 
I want to play it in the TV and I want to use that in the web. And that's, that's a bit, um, well, we, we are working on, on this, not to do a, a double job, because you produce still the things a little bit different for the web and for the TV. But we somehow, well, managed. Uh, we, we said, uh, let's have you talking to, to the people. She was uh, standing in front of a green screen and we keyed her to uh, give the graphic in the behind. And this is what, uh, in the end, we created. 20 mal googeln frisst genauso viel Strom wie eine Energiesparlampe, die eine Stunde lang brennt. Wer 10 Minuten lang ein Video online streamt, verbraucht genauso viel Energie wie ein 2000 Watt Ofen, den man 5 Minuten lang mit voller Kraft heizt. Ein einzelnes Datenrechenzentrum stößt im Jahr genauso viel CO2 aus wie 30 volle Flugzeuge auf der Strecke von Wien nach London. So, that was it. So, we used that uh, for, for the web, just like this. And for the TV, of course, we, she edited this with footage clips and stuff. So, yeah, that's what... A few examples, what, what we do with this cool stuff that people at uh, Adobe are developing. Thank you very much. <laughs>